today's news. Protests at Anar Mahmadov's court hearing. Court refuses to open criminal case against former parliamentary candidate. Youth activists protest outside Supreme Court. Human Rights Club established in Azerbaijan. Sulhadin Akbar, Musabat leadership unwilling to cooperate with Azerbaijan Popular Front Party. Training for human rights defenders and journalists. A group of Azad League and Yeni Musavat newspaper employers protested alongside members of Dalga Youth Movement outside the Yasamal District Court today. They were demonstrating against the lawsuit brought by Anar Mamadov, the transport minister's son, against Yeni Musavat and Azad League newspapers. Mamadov is appealing to the court citing personal humiliation and damage to his business reputation resulting from articles published in the newspapers. An article published in July was called Kamaladin Haderov's Bear Eaten, and another was published in September. Sheikh expels Anna Mamadov from Dubai. According to Azad League editor Sujadin Shafarov, Mamadov is demanding 250,000 AZN in compensation. The bear article alleged that at a rest stop restaurant in Gabala, Mamadov noticed a caged bear and ordered the chef to kill it and prepare a bear kebab for him. He promised to pay 1 million AZN. The second article said that Anna Mamadov and his friends had been deported from Dubai for social misconduct. The protesters held banners that read, One million manat for the bear, a hundred manats for pensioners. Leave bears and media alone. Don't demand compensation for a bear barbecue. The demonstration lasted for approximately ten minutes before protesters Elmin Badalov, Samir Kazimli and Ilmil Salagumu, all Yeni Musavat correspondents, were taken to Yasamal District Police Department No. 27. They were released after an hour's detention. The preliminary hearing should have been held today, but was cancelled because the judge was detained on official business. Today, December 10, the Yasmal District Court heard three criminal complaints filed against former parliamentary candidate Fuad Gahramanov by different individuals. First, modern Musavat Party Chairman Hafiz Hajiev's complaint against Fuad Gahramanov was heard. Judge Sardar Mehreliev said that the General Prosecutor's Office replied to the report's inquiry. The General Prosecutor's Office did not approve the demand to bring Fuad Gahramanov to criminal liability. After deliberation, the judge announced the decision not to control the complaint. The second hearing was held in the criminal complaint of parliamentarian Usan Bela Miramlov against Fuad Gahramanov. Judge Hagani Tagiev, who chaired the hearing, said that the General Prosecutor's Office did not approve the demand to bring Fuad Gahramanov to criminal liability. The judge said that the General Prosecutor's Office decision is based on the former candidate's right to freedom of expression. After deliberation, the judge announced the decision not to fulfill the complaint. The last hearing was held in the criminal complaint of former New Azerbaijan Party parliamentarian Mahad Abiyev against Fuad Gahramanov. The judge, Tahir Ismailov, who presided over the hearing, said that the General Prosecutor's Office did not approve the demand to bring Fuad Gahramanov to criminal liability. After deliberation, the judge announced the decision not to fulfill the complaint. All plaintiffs sought to file a suit against Fuad Gahramanov under Article 148, Insult of the Criminal Code. To mark International Human Rights Day today, members of the Dalga Youth Movement demonstrated outside the Supreme Court regarding the human rights situation in Azerbaijan. The protest lasted approximately 10 minutes and was organized as a piece of live theatre. Signs bearing slogans were posted outside the court building before they were trampled down by anti-protest groups. The aim of the protest was to raise awareness of official violations of human rights, said Dalga member Pavel Zadimov. Another member, Ramin Hajili, declared, The government is trying to prevent citizen annotation. Today, at the IRFS Press Center, the Human Rights Club was established by a group of human rights defenders on December 10th, International Human Rights Day. Human rights defender Natik Jafarla stated that the aim was to unite efforts in human rights protection field in Azerbaijan. He mentioned that the club would investigate human rights and prepare reports. 
Human rights defender Rasul Jafarov spoke about prisoners' rights being violated and stressed that the club would pay special attention to this field. Human rights defender Sabuhi Jafarov said that the rights of some prisoners are protected, but the rights of others have been violated. He mentioned that the rights of all individuals will be protected by the club. Journalist and human rights defender Idraka Abathov pointed out the importance of uniting the efforts. He said the club will be open for every person who wants to work in this field. Other rights defenders attending the event included Hakim Eldostu Mehdia, Almana Basov, Hilal Mahmadov, Paravana Persani, all who stressed the importance of the club. Human rights defender Amin Hussainov stated that such clubs operate in most countries and this practice is effective for working in the human rights field. He mentioned that the club will prepare a report on human rights by the end of the current year and going forward will prepare reports once a month to present them to the local and international communities. On December 10th, former Musavat Party Supreme Assembly Chairperson Sulahadin Akbar held a press conference on the problems of combining the two leading opposition parties. Musavat and Azerbaijan Popular Front Party. Akbar talked about the necessity of combining the parties. He pointed out that the APFP Congress had passed an unconditional decision to merge with the Musavat Party. This would not only be for the union of the two political parties, but would also pave the way for combining all democratic parties. This would also lay the foundation for the establishment of a popular movement against what threatens to be a transition to a dictatorial regime. According to him, the classical Popular Front Party, Democratic Party, Azerbaijan National Independence Party, along with other parties can all join the coalition in the future. The main problem for the union of the two parties is the position of the Musavat party leaders. No other Musavat party leaders, apart from Ibrahim, Ibrahimli, and me, are eager to see this solution. It might come down to jealousy, namely Issa Gamber's concerns for his position in the new coalition, given the probability that Ali Karam Lee will be appointed the head, he said. Over the summer, the Musavat party leader stated that the opposition could be united during the build-up of the parliamentary election. Later, his speech made it clear that he had been talking about merging Musavat with APFP. APFP passed a decision to leave the Azad Lik coalition to work with the Musavat party. The Society for Humanitarian Research held a training session today for human rights defenders and journalists called Human Rights and the Protection of Public Interests. The conference was sponsored by the Norwegian Human Rights Fund. Technical support was provided by Azerbaijan Human Rights House and the Open Society Institute Assistance Foundation. The director of the Media Rights Institute, Rashid Hajali, Legal Education Society Chairman, Aliyev, Institute for Reporters' Freedom and Safety Director, Amin Hussainov, and Society for Humanitarian Research Director, Abbas Hassanov, all spoke at the session. They discussed access to information, creation of human rights networks, and the protection of public interests. Local human rights defenders declare that citizens living in rural areas are not aware of their rights, that governmental bodies do not respond to citizen inquiries, and that there are serious problems regarding free elections, freedom of assembly, and freedom to join different political parties. It was also mentioned that Baku-based media outlets had not published research and material on human rights violations in the regions.